With each day getting closer to Tears of the Kingdom's release date, we are more and more likely to get new info revealed about the game. Even if Nintendo has revealed the game's final trailer before pre-release, that doesn't mean we won't get new information from other promotional material. And luckily that seems to be the case today, as with the game's download cards that are being sold in Japan, there are three new screenshots that haven't been shown in previous trailers. One is of Zelda looking towards the sky while holding the Master Sword, most likely during the same cutscene of the clip shown at the end of the last trailer. Another one of Ganondorf's body still decayed before he got a chance to drink any water and rehydrate himself. But it's worth noting that we can see his forehead already glowing most likely because of the tear. So we can only assume that he already had that tear before regaining his true form again. And the last screenshot is the most interesting one that I want to talk about throughout this video. And it's of a shot of the mysterious tall figure's face. The same person who was speaking to Zelda in the last trailer while putting his hand on her shoulder. We see him standing along the mysterious tan woman that Zelda dresses up like. Now, while this may not seem like much, I think this one screenshot actually helps us solve a big mystery we had for the game. Since we saw a close-up of this mysterious person touch Zelda's shoulder when speaking to her in the last trailer, what I found really interesting from that is how his arm looked similar to Link's new arm. And we can most likely confirm that this is the same person, as outside his arm being similar, he also towered over Zelda, similar to how he is with this other woman. Along with the orb that is on his right hand still being there. Which may be holding it here, similar to how Sidon carried his. As this man, if I can even call him a man, isn't Hylian. But some other creature entirely that we also see more of in the last trailer. And by their getup I can only assume that this is what the race of the Zonai looked like. So what if this is the Zonai who lended Link the power in his arm? Since speaking about his looks, this person looks a lot like the drawing we see on the tapestry that shows seven tears surrounding them. From the long ears and hair to the non-human face. So what if this tapestry was telling us of the legend of a previous Zonai hero, it being him, who presumably helped Hyrule retrieve all seven tears? foreshadowing how Link may have to do the same. This is somewhat similar to how the Sheikah Tapestry of Calamity Ganon shows the events of that legend's history. But no one could have made that connection with the new tapestry as that character in the center didn't look like Link. And that's because during that time it was a Zonai warrior and not a Hylian warrior. But of course with the Zonai having completely vanished from Hyrule's current time, it is up now to a Hylian, it being Link, to once again repeat that legend's prophecy. And what if this mysterious person is also the hero who sealed Ganondorf's body way back, leaving his power as the arm that remained sealing Ganondorf until merging with Link? Of course, if that was the case, and this person is from the past, why would he show up now? Well, from what I can assume is that clearly these two mysterious characters most likely don't coexist in the same time frame as Breath of the Wild's time. As why would they only show up now after all of what happened throughout Hyrule's history? So what if these characters do come from the past and Zelda had time traveled to their time? Learning about them and getting their help to save Hyrule in her time. Now please hear me out as I would like to explain my reasoning behind this thought process. So, when we see Zelda fall below in the recent trailer, we see a yellow aura emit out of her. This aura looks very similar to the recall ability, which we also see Link attempt to use on the Master Sword. And since the recall ability sends things back in time, what if Zelda sent herself back in time to prevent her from falling to her death? Similar to how Link will most likely be using it to restore the Master Sword by sending it back in time. But unlike Link only using the ability on certain objects to restore them or send them back where they fell from, Zelda used it on herself, sending her back in time. 
but whether she meant to go this far back or not, she ended up in the complete past during the era of the Zonai. And similar to how the Hylians have a never-ending prophecy that repeats itself, so do the Zonai. So Zelda meets their version of her, it being the Tan Woman. Which may be why she ends up dressing up like her and takes her tear. And Link, while not meeting the Zonai version of himself, still borrows his power through his arm. Having both of these prophesized characters of Hyrule connect to their Zonai counterparts in some way. Another thing that adds to this theory of Zelda presumably heading into Hyrule's past is how when we see Zelda at the very end of the trailer, she seems to be on the same platform we see in the sky in the beginning of the trailer. That being the one that resembles the Isle of Song from Scoured Sword. Yet when looking at how high the platform was when Zelda stood on it, we don't see it in the sky, since we can see so much landscape surrounding it. Yet when we see Link diving in the beginning of the trailer, we see that same platform but in the sky. So this could be the same platform but in Hyrule's past before it was brought back up to the sky as most likely all these sky islands we find in the game are from the Zonai's past before they were hidden up there. I know this theory seems out there, but this entire game is gonna throw the lore for a spin with how many unexplained concepts have popped out of nowhere. So I think we shouldn't ground ourselves to simple Zelda logic. And this game may completely open up a new direction for Hyrule's past as it now involves the Zonai. And it's weird, because we never really heard of the Zonai until Breath of the Wild, but now we're hearing so much about them, and they seem to have their own history and lore throughout Hyrule. So maybe this game will merge both of them together, and we'll figure out about this forgotten, ancient tribe of Hyrule's past. And while originally I assumed that they were a part of Hyrule's history, and probably mentioned throughout it, it could be that they have their own history entirely with their own goddess and their own hero of Hyrule. It being the Zonai versions of them, and now they will be intertwined with the Hylian versions in Tears of the Kingdom. And this could be the true meaning behind the Ouroboros in the game's logo. With the dragon eating the tail of the other dragon, as two different histories are now intertwining together, becoming one. Regardless though, I am so excited for the many mysteries that are in store for this game. And whoever this Zonai creature ends up being, he looks really badass and I'm sure will play a huge role in the game's story, so we should expect a lot out of him, especially if that is him shown in the tapestry with the Seven Tears. I know making an entire video dissecting one new screenshot may seem a bit much to some, but I thought it'd be fun to theorize while we still have a chance. As once the game comes out, we'll have all the answers for ourselves, so why not hype things up until the game comes out and do theories like this? For me personally, it's been a lot of fun, so hopefully you guys are also enjoying it with these theory videos and overall all sorts of updates that I will be doing until Tears of the Kingdom finally drops. Though please let me know what you guys think of these videos and what you think of this mysterious Zonai creature in the comments below. Also please don't forget to leave a like on this video as we'll have tons more Tears of the Kingdom updates with each new bit of information that is revealed to us. Of course there is a big chunk of the game that we could already dissect from the game's leaked art book. But since Nintendo hasn't revealed that themselves, I don't want to get into it. So technically, this was the first reveal we got of that mysterious Zonai's face. And I will only be covering anything that was officially released, as well that is just a random picture someone took that they found at a game store. It was still officially revealed to us by Nintendo, as anyone could buy it if they were in Japan, so Nintendo had put this out publicly. And of course I'll be covering anything that was publicly revealed to us by Nintendo, but no leaks. Anyways, please make sure you are subscribed not to miss out on any new information officially dropped from Nintendo, as I'll be covering it. And as the countdown comes closer and closer to Tears of the Kingdom, the hype builds up, so I'll have a lot more content in store for you guys. Though as always, thank you all so much for watching, I've been ZM, and I'll see you all in the next one.